Good morning, it's Wednesday morning and my parents are in the middle of redoing their bedroom and they've been doing this for a week and a half. I had the idea of making either A, lunch or B, dinner for them. So all of the kids are helping and we're going to make, the plan is hamburger soup, cornbread and oatmeal raisin cookies. And everybody's working together. Ready? Are you ready to help? No, we're not doing peanut butter today, but you can help John with the cookies. Can we make hamburger um, um, cheese soup? No, just hamburger soup today. I came home from work because uh, Janelle needed me to go down the basement and get some onions out of the freezer. And this is what I found when I got home. All this kids running around, throwing stuff in pots, doing this and that, and it's really kind of uh, uh, like organized chaos in here. And uh, Janelle is in a purging mood. She wants to get rid of everything. In the freezer. And I, yeah, she's trying to get rid of stuff in the freezer so I can clean it out. And I'm going to go back downstairs and get some uh, corn. Janelle found some zucchini and she's putting it in the soup. We are purging our freezers. This My mom actually calls this like dump soup where you just kind of dump everything in and you come out with a pot of soup and it never tastes the same twice. Wouldn't that be so funny if we put ground up liver in there? I don't think Grandma and Grandpa would Well, the good, good news is by the time Grandma watches this video, the soup will already be gone. So if I do put liver in there, she will have already eaten it. <laughs> Maybe we should do it. <laughs> Maybe we should do it. Almost, almost so if here. liver is in there, no one will know it. Right. Mommy, you almost have evil for that. Evil? Me? Yeah. Evil? She's just evil. getting rid of a lot of stuff. Yes, it is. The pot's getting fuller. We're going to run out of room in the pot soon. No, we're going to fill it right up to the top, though. We're going to have a pot of soup. Nine days old. Is this so long? Is it well mixed? Kind All the way to the bottom? Yes. All right, so you need to get your cookie sheets. You need to grease them. Why are we making food for Grandpa and Grandma? Because I told them already, but oh, okay. they are remodeling their bedroom. And it's a project that's taking a lot longer than they expected. Wow, a project taking longer than expected? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're just, you know, I was looking for something to do with the kids. This is educational for them. Cooking, they like to cook, and it gives us something to all work together and do something nice for someone yes. else. Uh, then kind of push them down, make them like balls. Oh no, these are going to expand. Right there. Uh, we need to make cookies, round cookies. I'm trying to make them round. Do you know how to make round cookies? No. no. Okay. You take a scoop, like, Mommy, like I, that. I made a round cookie. And then a all round you do cookie. is you push it off the back. Do you kind like of squish it? No, nope, that's it. And it'll turn into a nice little cookie. Mom, look what okay, I did. Take, try that, Mary. Look what I did. Take your spoon. Smush mine and, and push it off like that. Smush it up. Okay. Okay. And you try some, that. Three little white cookie. I'm, and I made three little white cookies. Yeah, just like that, John. Good job. Mommy. It needs something. It needs. Make sure they're separated. Make sure it's like that. It looks like it's just lacking something. Like, not enough green. Cauliflower? Spinach. Spinach or kale or... Cauliflower? I don't have cauliflower. No, we do. Or not cauliflower, uh, broccoli. broccoli. I know my dad wouldn't eat broccoli. There's some oh. things I just won't put in here. Oh, this has lentils on it. We're going to put lentils in here because that's what I usually put in here. And I don't know. We just kind of dump. Yeah. Dump until it seems like it's the right consistency. Dump until the pan is full. Right. Yeah. And if it's... Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on a second. We always have to put these in a container and sort them because they have... Rock. You can't write rocks. We don't want to feed grandma and grandpa rocks. Although there is a recipe called rock soup. We found some leftover carrots in the refrigerator. We're just going to toss those in. Now we're adding broccoli stem. Nothing goes to waste. Oh no, the pea snout is in the soup. Uh oh. Nothing goes to waste. How good do my cookies look? They they won't be beautiful. Yes, my they cookies will. are never beautiful. My cookies are beautiful. There's the cornbread. Cornbread. Okay. Can you can turn this down to 375. All right. Let's see if those. Here comes cookies. the cookies. Let's put them in. Ah. Uh, I was here. All right. 
Yeah. Put them in for 10 minutes. Okay. And let's see. We'll let everything cool and then we'll get ready to go. So let's pick up our messes, guys. And make sure everything's clean and tidy because when we get back, we'll have our lunch. You need help? It's taking hours. All right. John, do I have a volunteer to help? Sure. Look at that. The table's cleared up and everything's pretty much in order. Yeah, for the dishes. And the, ki well, the kids are doing dishes right now. Did we learn some valuable training skills today? Yes. Yes. Did you learn how to work together better? Yes. That's an, that's an important thing. If we have teamwork helps get things done. Get things done. Yeah. I think we're done. The corn rack is done. It's all right. Thank you very much. We'll just let them cool for a few minutes before we flip them. All right. Grandma's going to have a good meal. I yum, yum. So it's yum, 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 yum. The lentils have to cook longer. Oh, broke one. Oh, you have to eat that one. Mm, have to split well, I got, thank you. I like the little raisin shrapnels. What? Mm. Those are yummy. Can I raisins? You want a raisin shrapnel? Here. Here's a raisin shrapnel. Here, hold your hand up. There you go. A raisin shrapnel? Tastes really good, Lydia. I'm scared. Do you have one? Yeah. It I might be bad. One. Or it might be good. A little sample. What's the verdict? That will taste. Oh, that's okay. I, my my taste buds have been tainted with um a chunk of sugary cookie, so that kind of really messes up your taste buds for tasting soup. Because all of a sudden this is like mm, I don't I don't want to taste it. Taste. We'll let Daddy taste some. Time for the video camera guy to taste it. I think it's pretty good. I'm not very discerning with my taste, but it, it tastes very savory. Mm. So I think it's good soup. And it'd be great with some mo broken up matzos Mozzles in it. Okay. What about cornbread? We made cornbread. Well, cornbread's good too. Okay. You dip cornbread in there. Mm. We made really good time. It's 11.29 and we are just heading up to my mom's oh, house. Watch out, little squirrel! Did you squish oh. him? Was close. Did you squish him? I think he might have felt his tail uh, fur wiggle a little bit with my draft. Why did it stop right? In because it was confused. It didn't know where it wanted to go. Yeah, well, he would have been safe whichever direction he ran. Because you know, because if he ran, he just needed to run. Instead of being paralyzed by fear, he just needed to run. Isn't that a metaphor for life? Yep. You just gotta keep going. If you stop, you're in trouble. If I was a bird, I'd probably want to be a, um, a, um, what a, um, a chocolate tip mouse. I'd like to be a hawk. Why? Hawks get off better than some birds. What is it? Get off. That means they have an easier time than some birds. Well, some Jesus. birds can fly way fast. No. They are waiting for us. We made our delivery and we ended up staying for about what, 20 minutes, 30 25, minutes? 25, 25. minutes because Grandpa wanted to show us everything they've done in their bedroom. It looks good. And it looks really good. I didn't take the camera in though because I was trying to keep the kids and their germs to themselves. But they've redone the walls, repainted, put on that faux ragging. Um, that was really popular oh, oh, a couple years ago. They did that in their bedrooms and then they're putting down new hardwood floors. So it's a lot of construction and I know all about construction. So we just thought we'd bring them a nice, nice lunch slash dinner and that's one less thing my mom has to worry about while they're doing their work. Does everybody like the soup? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. Five stars out of five stars. What do you think, Mommy? I think it's good. And even. Gracie's eating it. What about me? Do you like it, Lydia? Three like stars? Three stars? So we were figuring out how much we spent on this pot of soup. Now our costs are going to be a little bit higher because we are using um, grass-fed, pretty much organic beef that we buy from, because we buy a whole cow. But we figured out this large pot cost right around nine to ten dollars. And it was and full. It was full. But when we figured out how many people were gonna eat out of this, we figured at least 
22 servings, possibly more. And that included taking some to my parents. So we had this with our meal, and then we also made some homemade cookies. I did not figure out the price on these, but it probably wasn't a whole lot, as well as a large pan of cornbread here. So I would say for the entire meal here, you're looking at, what did you say, our $12, $13? You're probably about $13 for the entire meal. For the entire meal. And this would have gone down a lot because we're paying $5.75 a pound for the the grass-fed beef. If you were able to use just straight hamburger, say it was on sale for $1.99 a pound, and I used a pound and a half of that, that would actually drop the price a whole lot. But that's just, that is our own personal choice about using the organic, um, non-GMO, grass-fed beef. A cheap, very inexpensive way to making a meal for your family. I think everyone is very well satisfied. They're quiet, which means they're <laughs> well fed. <laughs> right. So definitely um, being creative with what you serve. I put lentils in here, which adds to the protein and fiber content, which you know adds that feeling full longer, and in order it really makes you eat less. Everybody is eating. I'm going to get ready to put the girls to take their naps. I just found out that I'm going to be having a training tonight. I've got someone to give me a ride, and it's on pediatrics. How applicable to our family. So Art's going to be home with the kids again. I mean, I guess that's not so bad because last week when I was supposed to be gone two nights, I, the classes got canceled. So this week I'm making up for that. I'm going to have one class tonight, and we're all going to have a nice afternoon snooze after a busy morning of cooking. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and share us with your friends because we are trying to reach that goal of 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you for next vlog.